What's going on? What's happening? It is time for Legend Bowl. That is why I am here. But first, we got to look at where we stand in the league. Now, we are currently five and three, and we are doing our thing. All right. But there's a bunch of other teams that are five and three as well. But from what I can tell, the Emeralds on the Pacific side of the Western Conference are the best team in the league at the moment. But the Beavers, we just beat the Beavers and that was a tough game. Now, before we jump into the game that we do have scheduled, I just want you guys to know that I was shocked by what is about to happen. All right. That's not me trying to hype up the episode or anything like that. This is really two episodes in one because for some reason, when we played the walleye in the first game, the footage cuts off, I believe, in the first quarter. I have no idea why whatsoever. I don't know. The footage is just not there at all. And I bulk record most nights. So... I was bulk recording and just moved on to the next one, assumed that this one was right. And you know what they say about when you assume things. Well, yeah, it turns out that it's true. Anyway, we did not, and I repeat, we did not get a first down on that drive and we did not win that game either, okay? Because we are five and four now and we are going up against the Tennessee Kings who are six and three. So unfortunately, I can't even tell you what that score was at the moment. I don't know what happened. My apologies, but the show must go on regardless. And that is exactly what is about to happen because we are on the road and it's time to show them how it goes. So let's go ahead and get things cracking. It is second down and 10 and Tennessee is biding some time and they find a man open that is Sklar with the catch. I don't even know if I said that right, but Sklar with the catch. And he will get up eight yards and we will get a sack on the very next play. Third and short and they decide to drop back about five or six yards. I don't understand it, but I don't coach that team either. Enzo Noel is going to pick up a first down. Good carry by him. And that is going to be where our bread and butter is today. It's in the run game, but my man is in the passing game as well. Okay. We got Nolan Vows, who is one of the best passers in the league. One of the best statistical passers anyway. And he keeps on showing why he is near the top. Beautiful pass and catch. And now we are running it into the end zone with Devern Ember. Our fullback catching that one off of a screen. And I love the screen plays on this game. All right. They're really good. That's all I can say. Pass is caught. That is going to be a first down. And Tennessee is moving the chains as they move into Kansas City territory. And now it's a reverse. And it is also going to be a house call as well touchdown Tennessee and my man Pickett knows that he doesn't have to lie to kick it picks up the touchdown it is now a tie ball game but Bruce is getting frantzy out here as he lose a helmet as well come on man you got to keep your helmet on that's all I'm saying it's about safety out here pass is caught and this is Enzo Noel and every time you get him open space the man can get you a huge chunk of yards he finally goes down at the 31 yard line it is first down and 10 and my man Nolan Vows had time and he also has Gail Chuck with the catch second down and four now will send a man in motion that's Deverne Ember he is gonna do he is not blocking at all i thought that was for extra block it was not pass is caught we will pick up a first down we are now at the 17 yard line and it's enzo noel on the toss and he is gonna pick up a gain of six third down and four pass is caught and this is gail chuck getting into the end zone we are now up 14 to 7 and we are not trying to slow down at this point. But here comes this Russian attack for Tennessee. 
and Tennessee will pick up a gain of eight yards on the back of Cody Clues. And now they're gonna hand this one off to Shu. Yes, his name is Shu. <laughs> and he is gonna pick up a first down. Tennessee is moving the chains, but we are now at the end of the first quarter and it is still 14 to seven. We are holding on to the lead. We're not trying to give it back. Pass is caught. That's gonna be a first down. And it's now first and 10 from the Tennessee 46 yard line. Dropping back, got time, got a man wide open as well as Sklar finds shoe for a good game. Third down and short now. And hopefully they drop back nine yards again. They will not, and we will get the stop. My man is out here injured, and he is still making plays nonetheless. They're going to set up for a field goal. It is a long one, but it is not a strong one. It is going to doink off of the uprights, and we will take over third down and 11. Now we need something big. We won't get it. We will not get it at all. That one falls incomplete, and Tennessee will take over from their six-yard line. Pass is caught, and this is Pickett. And Pickett will finally go down at the 24-yard line. Now from the 25, it is third down and seven. And they are scanning the field, and this one is caught. And it's going straight to the house. Hart with a huge touchdown. Sklar has been finding the open man often. We need to get more pressure on him. Bruce Francie makes a good catch, but we have to get more pressure on their quarterback and force them to run the ball. They might can beat us on the ground, but still. All right, I don't want them passing. I don't, I don't like that for me. Pass is complete to Francie. He's got some block, but does not have enough for a first down. That is gonna bring up fourth down and two, and we are going for it. 38 seconds left to go in the first half. And that was terrible. Absolutely terrible, especially giving up this field position with that amount of time on the clock. And Pickett is gonna pick up a big gain on first and 10. It is third down and one now. 30 seconds left to go. And we actually get the stop. I really thought he had enough for a first down. He did not. They're gonna set up for a field goal and this kick is good. It's great action. They are now up 17 to 14. And that is gonna take us into the halftime. And that was a boneheaded mistake. I mean, at the most, we should have just kicked the, the punt and just been done with it, all right? But we did not. We chose to gamble. And this is what happens when you gamble and you lose, all right? Don't gamble. Five minutes of possession time for us means that we are holding the ball longer than they are. But if you take a look at the scoreboard, I don't think that matters right now. On the next drive, we set up for third down and we throw the ball out of bounds and it feels like the wheels are starting to fall off. Third and 13 and they convert in the best way possible. Now third down and seven, back to back third downs for Tennessee. We're gonna see what they can do with it. Sklar drops back, looks downfield. This man is double covered and the ball is swatted out of the air. We will set up now from the 20 yard line. It is third down and 12. And we got a man open and that man's name is Enzo Noel, but it's not enough for a first down. We'll give the ball back and Tennessee will set up from their 39 yard line. Pass is complete. That's gonna be a big first down for them as they move into Kansas City territory. Now setting up from the 47. Scar drops back and gets sacked. Let's go. Krishan Cuts and Trevon Glapian get into the backfield and introduce themselves personally. And now Trevon Glapian almost gets another sack. They get the pass off. 
but it's not enough for a first down. That is going to bring up fourth down and one. They will set up for a field goal, and this kick is no good. Wow. Tennessee fails to extend their lead, and we will take this one at the 40-yard line, second down and nine, and it's Gail Chuck, and he is wide open, going to the 20, to, oh man, almost making it to the 10 and beyond. It was not to be. It is third down and nine now, and that looks like Bruce Francie. Fourth and short, and we're going for it. Fourth and two, and hopefully we'll have more success. But that is the end of the quarter. Uh, and we will decide to kick a field goal. I never feel right when it changes like that. Maybe you need that time to make a different decision. That's exactly what we did. But we did tie the game up. And it is now 17 to 17, and it's third down and five, and we get a huge stop. We get the ball back now from the 46 yard line. Screen pass is complete to Noel. He will run this one in and pick up a gain of 11 yards. First down and 10 now for Kansas City from the Tennessee 43 yard line, and we get sacked. That will back us all the way up to the 49. Not what we wanted. It is third down and 16 now. Nolan Vows looking downfield. We tried to connect with Chance Roberts and it wasn't possible on that play. And now Tennessee might just walk us down in these late minutes. Toss play to Pickett and Pickett is going off making it into Kansas City territory. He picks up a big first down on the ground. And now Sklar drops back and we could not get the pressure on him. We tried, the, the offensive line started collapsing. We could not get back there in time to stop him. Two minutes and six seconds left. And this pass is complete. And that's gonna be a gain of six on the play. Third down and four now, one minute and 38 seconds, and it's out of bounds. So you're telling me there's a chance. <laughs> They'll set up for a field goal, and this kick is good. Undoubtedly. 20 to 17 now. Nolan Vows setting up from the 21 yard line, and we got Chance Roberts wide open and Roberts goes down at the 48 yard line. Great run by him. And we get sacked again. All we have to do is make it in field goal range. And at the least we can extend this game. Time is winding down and we got Bruce Francie and he gets around a defender, but it's not enough for a first down. Third down and three now. And we need to reset these plays. How did we, oh my goodness. Pass falls incomplete. And I feel so strongly about it. I gotta run the same play again. This time he was guarded, but this time he makes the catch. Gets out of bounds and it's 44 seconds left to go in the game. Second down and 10. And we got Bruce Francy down the side of the field. Oh, he Francie. He, he's very Francie. Don't, 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 don't test Bruce out here. 14 seconds left to go. Clock is still winding. And it's Bruce Francie winning us the game. <laughs> Yo, I did not think I was going to be saying that. But my man and a whole hundred grand, Bruce Francie, did it. Two huge catches on that last drive. To come to think about it, we have 18 total rushing yards. And we have the number one rusher in the league. And my man put up 18 yards. This Tennessee defense was not playing with us. 
all right? But they could not stop Nolan Vows, and Nolan Vows got it done over 200 yards, three touchdowns, wasn't sacked that much. It was a really good game for him, but Bruce Francie stepped up, seven catches, 84 yards, and a touchdown to boot. And shout out to him. If you made it this far in the video and you have not subscribed yet, feel free to do so now and ring that bell for notifications because I've been me, you've been you, and until the next time we speak, <laughs> I'm out.